That's right. If Shell had decided not to go forward with this plant, there would have been a lot of upset people and a lot of work wasted. Take a look at how much has already been done on this site, even though the official announcement didn't come till today. And local leaders are telling me they believe this is just the beginning of a whole new industry for Western Pennsylvania. The factory is years away, but already talking to people who live nearby, it's clear that it's bringing hope. When the steel industry collapsed, we've been looking for uh, an industry that could sustain a lot of well, good paying jobs and, and it's an opportunity for Beaver County. Shell made it official today, choosing this site on Route 18 in Potter Township, Beaver County, over several others around the nation to build its cracker plant. It'll transform ethane from area shale wells into the materials used in plastics. But more important to many people is the jobs. Shell says it'll have 600 permanent jobs at the factory and 6,000 construction jobs that will last years. Already, I think the economic ripple is being felt. Uh, the hospitality industry has already had an opportunity to um, to ha accommodate Shell employees or, or contractors. Think about a couple years ago when we built a couple of stadiums, which was a, were, were really big deals. We're talking about building maybe 25 stadiums. Leaders say those jobs won't be just at the cracker. Former Governor Tom Corbett, who led the push to get Shell here in the beginning, says many other plastic companies that will use the factory's products will come here to be closer. It will have a multi-generational impact on Western Pennsylvania as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the start of a new industry here for uh, Pennsylvania. As Shell says most of the construction here won't start for 18 months and that cracker won't be up and running probably until the next decade. Reporting live in Potter Township, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. 